Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video will be about the Library and Playlist section. You can find the Library and Playlist section at the top of the left column in ProPresenter. If you remember, in ProPresenter 6, we had one big library. It did allow us to add labels to find different types of items within the library, but you still had to search through one large library. Now in ProPresenter 7, we can create as many libraries as we'd like. As you notice, we have created a songs library, a Thursday elements library, and a library for each of our service types. Now, if I were to click on a library, you'll notice that the contents of the library appears in the items bin. It also lets me know that I'm in the songs library. So if you're ever unsure of what item you're looking at and where it's located, it'll tell you which library you are currently in or where it's from. Now say we wanted to create a new library. We could go up to this plus button, click it, and then click new library. This will appear a brand new library at the top of the list. And then we can go ahead and name it. We're going to name this test. Now, once we have a new library, we can go ahead and add an item to it. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. So let me show you them. We can go ahead and go right back to this plus button and we can click new presentation. Then we can name this presentation. We're going to name it test. We can pick a theme, which if you remember, this is what used to be called templates. We can pick the output size, and then we can pick which library it's going to go to. In this case, we're going to put it in test. Finally, all you have to do is click the new button and it appears in the items bin of the library that you selected. And it reminds me that I'm in the test library. Now, if I wanted to create another item in a different way, when I'm in the items bin of a specific library, I can click the plus button and then I can add a new presentation the exact same way I was doing before. Now, if I were no longer needing these and I wanted to delete them, I could go up to this library, say I no longer wanted it. I can right click on the library and I can rename it if I needed to, or I can delete it. And if you notice when I go ahead and delete, it says this action cannot be undone. So once we delete this, there's no way to bring it back. So let's go ahead and delete. Next, I want to show you the new way to search your libraries. So if you click this search button or command F to bring up a search window, it now allows you to search all of your libraries at once. So say we're looking for Thursday service elements, but we can't remember where we put them. We could type out Thursday and it'll show us all the things in all the libraries that have Thursday containing. Then at that point, we could select that item and find it or add it to a playlist, but more on that later. Also in this search window, we can click on Song Select. Song Select is a service that allows you to see, or allows you to bring down lyrics from uh, different songs. So if we wanted to search for a song, we could search for Waymaker, and now we have the version of Waymaker and we could import it into our system. But I'm gonna go back to the ProPresenter libraries search. Now to get out of this window, all you have to do is click somewhere else in the software and it'll disappear. Now let's move on to playlists. If you notice, this icon here kind of looks like a folder on a blue background. This is the folder playlist or playlist folder. If you were to click on the arrow next to it, it would reveal all of the playlists with inside of the folder. Then if you were to click on the folder itself, nothing will appear in the items bin because it has no contents. But if you were to click on a playlist, Thursday playlist, for example, you would then see all of the items within that playlist in the items bin. Now, if we go through this, we'll notice that we have headers, we have items, in this case, presentations based off the icon. We know where that is in what library. In our songs, we know what arrangement we're using. And we also know if we have media, there's a new icon for media. Notice that the Romans bumper has the media and it tells us how long is the content in this media. So this Romans bumper is 58 seconds long. Now we may not always have this expanded all the way out, but to see that you would 
you could just click on this line here and then you could expand to see some of that detailed information. If you notice, it disappears as I collapse it and it comes back as I expand it back out. Same thing with the, the line here. If you needed to see more of your service items or if you needed to see more of the libraries and playlists, you can resize the windows. So say we wanted a new playlist or a new playlist folder. We could come up here, select the location that we want it, and then come back to this plus button. When we click this plus button, we can go down below and we can go to new playlist. This new playlist is going to appear right below the playlist we have selected. And then we can name it. Let's go ahead and name this test. If we wanted to create a new playlist folder, same thing. Click that plus button. We go to playlist folder and select it. It's going to put it right below the selected playlist that we have. I'm going to go ahead and call this one test as well. Now, if I wanted this test within the folder, I could just click it and drop it into the test folder. Now it's within there. And if I were to hide it, you would no longer see it. And then click this again to make it appear. If I didn't want the test to be inside of services, I could click it and move it outside of services. You don't have to have a playlist with inside of a folder. So you could take your test playlist and put it outside of the folder and put it into the root list of playlists. Now say we wanted to rename these or delete these. If we go ahead and just right click on them, you can rename, you can export to send to another computer, you could duplicate or you could delete. So let's go ahead and delete. And we're going to do the same thing with the folder. Now, how do you add a new item into your playlist? So let's go ahead and go to our Sunday playlist. Since I haven't finished this one, you'll notice that some of the contents is in, but there are no songs. So let's go ahead and add a song to this playlist. So there's a few ways to do this. One would be, let's go up to the songs library and click on it. Find the song we want. Let's go for Waymaker. Now we can click and hold and move this up and hover over the Sunday playlist. And you'll notice that the Sunday playlist appears in the items bin. We could go ahead and release and it would drop it into the playlist at the very bottom, or we can come back down and we could place it wherever we want. So I'm going to go ahead and place it at the top of the playlist. Now, another way to add a song or an item would be to open the search window again. And let's search for raise a hallelujah. Now, once we found it, we can click on it and move it right over into the place wherever we want. Again, to get out of this, just click anywhere else in the software and it will disappear. The final way I want to show you is say we go back to the songs put um, library. Now within the library, when you click, when you right click on an item, we'll go ahead and right click on here for you. It gives you a bunch of different options. You can add to a playlist or a library. You can move to a different library. You can resize the output. You could pick an arrangement. You could move to reflow editor. You could copy, paste, duplicate, rename, delete. You could show in finder. So where is it on your computer? You could export it as a bundle to send to another computer or you could export it as images, say you needed it as notes or to show somebody who didn't have access to the computer. So let's go back up to add to, and we can go all the way down to our Sunday playlist and we can click it. Now, if we go back to our Sunday playlist, you'll notice that it imported it to the playlist at the very bottom. But once it's in there, you can just go ahead and grab it and move it up to wherever it needs to be. Now say we wanted to add a header to this. When you're in a playlist, when you're selected a playlist and you're in the items bin of that playlist and you hit this plus button, you now get new header. Once you create a new header, it just names it new header and gives it a default color. You can go ahead and right click on it. You can rename it. You could change the color. So let's first rename it. We'll call it test header. Then let's right click on it and let's change the color. In ProPresenter 7, we now have the options to select any color that we want. So we could make this like a salmon colored. 
So let's go ahead and select that. And then we just go ahead and close out of this window with the red button. And if I were to click on Raise a Hallelujah and scroll up to see the header, now we have a salmon colored header. If you wanted to delete that header, you could right click on it and just go down and hit delete. Now, if you notice when you right click, it gives you different options. So let's go back up to the Thursday playlist and let's right click on a few of our items. So if we were to right click on a song similar to a library, we can add that to a different playlist. We could resize it. We could change the arrangement. We could go into reflow editor, copy, paste, duplicate, delete. We could show it in the library. We could export it as a bundle or we could export it as images, just like in the library. Show in library will take you to the item in the library that it's in. So let's go ahead and click on that. So you notice it brought us to the songs library and has the song highlighted. Now let's go back to our Thursday playlist and let's take a look at the media that's in here. So we have the Romans bumper in here. So let's go ahead and right click on it. It gives us a slightly different look. We can go to inspector. So inspector is now what media properties used to be. So if you've used PVP on our LED walls, you would understand what inspector is. If not, just look for it in a future video. You could also show it in Finder. So it'll tell you where it is on your computer and open that folder. You could copy, paste, duplicate, and delete. Now I want to tell you about this filter section at the items. So say you were in a service and you couldn't find the song you were looking for. They were going to here for you. If you started to type out here for you, it would become the only thing in the items bin. Now you could quickly select it and you'd be on that song. Same thing if we had a very large library list. So let's select Sunday elements. Say I couldn't find where Nick's message was. I knew Nick was preaching, so I wanted to search for his uh, presentation. So I just start typing Nick and now I can have his and I could quickly add it to another playlist. Then if you don't want to see that anymore, just go ahead and hit that X and now you are back to the full item list. The final thing I want to show you is if you click this little up arrow button, it will hide your playlist and libraries and expand the items view. Now, if you want to look at a different one, you click this drop down menu and you can select what you want to go to. So let's go to Thursday. And now we can just see the Thursday elements and not have the busyness of all the playlists and all the libraries in our way when we're running a service. So this is libraries and playlists in ProPresenter 7. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for our next video and thanks for watching.